We are celebrating uh, that we are making the cover of uh, this month's uh, journal Crystals. So it's yeah. a good name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> With the article on the empires in quasi crystals from uh, Fang, uh, Dugan, and Clip. Congratulations. And they made a beautiful uh, kind of quartz image of our uh, empire image. So this is the number of October. Then uh, we are celebrating a second cover. We, uh, we got uh, an invitation for also the cover of mathematics. Oh, the, wow. next, uh, the next, the so next. <laughs> It's still not finished, but it will be this image with the 20 group. Oh, ah, nice. Nice. <laughs> wow, cool. <laughs> and the, it's directly coordinate here. Does that have anything to do with the first publication? Uh, this is the same editor, MDPI. Okay. Yes, but a different journal. Different journal. Okay. Remade that picture. Nice. Then we are celebrating uh, the birth of the QSN Phylix yeah. that we are searching from a long time. So you see that now the tetrahedron from the QSN are sharing faces, but they are not centered and they can organize uh, along uh, different Phylix, even with some periodicity or some other without. And we have to explore this more. Uh, the yeah. following week. I could also wind back because I can see the trend that they can make a circles. Mm -hmm. or it could be straight. Well, they have to all have periodicity if it's in the QSN, but we discovered no, five. No, not periodicity. I'm just saying no, no, they, I'm they saying can wind back yeah. like a, a yeah. circular path instead right. of straight. So uh, this is five periodicity that we discovered, and we're still uh, looking for the three? No, I had, this is three. three. This is three. Okay, and you the found The first them. one I gave you is a five. Oh, so we have both the three you and the five. Them. Cool. Yeah. So next we have now the QSN Empire and oh. uh, it looks similar to the other empire with a lot of rays going from the outside. Uh, mm. So, and here this is with the computation of the QSN which has both chirality left and right. So this is superposition of left and right 20 groups. And the orange ones are uh, 16 groups? So, um, yes, the orange one has less, but I um, don't remember how many there are, yes. And uh, we, we can integrate them, and they are also organized in some ways and in Fibonacci chains. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is how we can find the helix for the 20 group helix. And the empire method uses the, the empire for the Fibonacci chain. Mm. Like you have, a, if you have a 20 group, you have a long and a long, mm -hmm. and then and then you have its empire, mm -hmm. and then depending on how many, you, you know, you can have different vertex types. Not not necessary 20 group. You can have a 16 group, and then it will have its empires through the tetrahelix. I mean the Fibonacci chain, and then you will have according, um, like uh, these kind of rays. Uh, for 20 group, it's a icosahedron symmetric. For 16 group or 8 group, it will not be a cosahedron symmetric, and then we're gonna calculate that. Do you think there's later. any em helices, uh, empires that are in the shape of helices? Empire in the shape of a helices? Uh, not the forced empire. Or forced helices, we can but just say. You can. Uh, I don't know, but the 20 groups the are race, very yes, close. Yeah, the 20 groups are now are very close. So, but please think about it. If you, if you, if you actually. Um, pile this acosahedron together, yeah. you see natural helix going. Uh -huh. If you pile this 20 groups or almost 20 groups together, should be the same thing. It, yeah, you can right. literally see the helix. Do you think you have three and five helices of 20 groups, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Huh. I believe so. Three, five. But, well, three and five, 20 groups. I don't know, but for tetrahelix, mm. 20 groups. We have never actually done 20 group helix. Mm. Other than in 40, in 40 mm -hmm. there is 20 group helix that that if you follow it, it covers half of the 600 cell, mm. and there is another one covers the other half of the 600 cell. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, but I don't know if you can QS and what is left. So, we have more. <laughs> yeah. Now we have the QSN uh, expressed in Dirichlet integers, and so there are some networks which emerge from this. 
I so, hope to make it in virtual reality so you can touch it. <laughs> so Ray, those are just all 20 group centers, those vertices, yes? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. Is this with the, with the new QSM? Yes, yes, this is with the new. So they're closer, yeah. the 20 groups are closer than before. Yes, and so this is also, they are closer. Oh. So it's cool. not only 20 group, but 20 group and other group which are uh, near almost 20. Almost 20, yeah. Almost 20. So this so is so what really I dense. want. So from here we can look at the, not only the tetrahelix, but the 20 group helix. Because that's one of the 20 problems. So this here you have tetrahedral, tetrahedral vertices. So this is not 20 group vertices, centroids, right? No, these are, these are, yeah. These these are, he's showing the 20 groups, you can see those little balls. Yeah, yeah, but they have tetrahedra, right? Yeah. So we have yes, they are made yeah, of yeah. tetrahedron, yes. Yeah. Of both uh, chirality. And we have the Fibonacci soliton, so it's in Fibonacci chain, we have uh, things which are moving. Here we have several soliton at the same, but you can take one and follow here. So they move back and forth? Yes, here yeah, back and forth, and there is several at the same time. This is just one example, but... Uh, uh, and this is made um, by... Uh, so the soliton air at the board boundary between uh, two Fibonacci chains, uh, perfect Fibonacci words. So that's, um, that's what on the email I sent you that recreated it by shifting the Fibonacci chain, mm. um, Fibonacci word around. So I, I, I told you, I shared another method of using a, a pause in the Empire window like a, the, the cut and project the window. If you have a pulse propagate, you can also have a corresponding soliton. Cool. So I don't know, like uh, Ray said, that they're not equivalent, but they may still turn uh -huh. out to be equivalent. Uh -huh. So that's something that we wanted to talk about yeah, because yeah. that's related to the animation part. Oh, good. So, and now let's wow. drink. Wow, that's eat. cool. <laughs> All right, so now we gotta do this every month.